In the realm of archaeology, few discoveries ignite the imagination like those that challenge our understanding of human evolution. The unearthing of diminutive human species, often referred to as hobbits, has provided profound insights into the diversity and adaptability of our ancient relatives. These findings not only reshape our evolutionary narrative, but also highlight the complex interplay between environment and physiology. In 2003, a team of archaeologists made a groundbreaking discovery in Liang Bua Cave on the Indonesian island of Flores. They unearthed the remains of a small statured hominin species, later named Homo floresiensis. Standing approximately 3.5 feet tall, these individuals possessed a unique combination of primitive and derived traits, including a small brain size comparable to that of a chimpanzee and distinct dental features. Despite their diminutive stature, evidence suggests that H. floresiensis was capable of crafting stone tools and hunting small game, indicating a level of intelligence and adaptability previously unassociated with such small-brained hominins. In 2024, Researchers announced the discovery of additional fossils on Flores Island, including a small arm bone and teeth dating back approximately 700,000 years. These findings suggest that the ancestors of H. floresiensis were even smaller than previously thought, standing around 3 feet 3 inches tall. The diminutive size of these early hominins is believed to result from insular dwarfism, an evolutionary process where species confined to isolated environments, such as islands, evolve smaller body sizes due to limited resources. The discovery of Homo luzonensis in Kalau Cave on the Philippine island of Luzon further complicates the human evolutionary story. Announced in 2019, this species is characterized by a unique combination of traits found in both ancient and more recent human relatives. The fossils, which include teeth and small bones, suggest that H. luzonensis was small in stature, similar to H. floresiensis. The presence of such a species in the Philippines indicates that early hominins were more widely dispersed across Southeast Asia than previously believed, and that island dwarfism may have been a recurring theme in human evolution. The discoveries of these small-bodied hominins have sparked significant debate within the scientific community. Some researchers argue that the unique features of Homo floresiensis and Homo luzonensis warrant classification as distinct species, while others suggest they may represent populations of modern humans with pathological conditions or adaptations to specific environments. Regardless of their classification, these findings underscore the remarkable adaptability of early humans and the complex pathways of human evolution. Interestingly, many cultures have legends of small human-like creatures. For instance, Native American folklore speaks of the little people, described variously as spirits, magicians, or dwarves. While these tales are often considered mythological, the archaeological discoveries of small statured hominins provide a fascinating parallel, suggesting that such legends may have roots in ancient human encounters with different hominin species. The unearthing of small-bodied hominins like Homo floresiensis and Homo luzonensis offers profound insights into the diversity of the human lineage. These discoveries challenge our perceptions of human evolution, highlighting the complex interplay between environment, physiology, and culture. As research continues, we can anticipate further revelations that will deepen our understanding of our ancient relatives and the myriad forms they took as they spread across the globe.